Well, it's been one heck of a year for East Valley's Roderick Fisher. We brought you the story of then Roderick Jackson back in the fall. He was homeless, out of school, and looking for help. He got it from football coach Adam Fisher and his wife Jolene, who he now calls mom and dad. His story went national, and now, yesterday, he committed to play football at Washington State after next season. It was a big day for Roderick, and as it turns out, a special date he will always remember. It's a, it's a big weight off the shoulders, because then you don't have to, it's kind of always in the back of your mind. You think about it, or like, which school should I go to? Which school should I go to? Roderick had several choices in front of him, but he wanted to get his commitment out of the way so it wouldn't be a distraction. And he liked what he saw most out of the Cougars. My connection with the position coach and with the just seeing how the team works and seeing how they coach, it was just a big thing and feeling that trust that I could feel with the receiver coach. And Dave Nickel really gave me that, so. Still, May 10th, an odd day to announce your intentions, unless, of course, you're Roderick Fisher, enjoying his life with his new family while remembering where he came from. His older brother, Trayvon Jackson, was born on this day 20 years ago, but died of brain cancer just short of his eighth birthday. I felt as though I wanted to take the sadness out of the day and make it a exciting, happy day and put something there that I can make in memory of him and just keep that in the back of my mind. The Fisher family took a trip to Reardon to pay respects to Roderick's late brother on one of the biggest days of his life. I got to let out some emotions going down there, so that was good. But, I mean, yeah, I, it's hard. I didn't just make my decision for him. I made it for my family and with my family. It was a great day, but a tough one for the Fishers, who were reminded of the great speech made by Jim Valvano. If you can laugh, think, and have your emotions move to tears all in the same day, that's a pretty full day. I mean, it just feels like a full day. You kind of get a little drained after, but it feels great to be able to have those highs and those lows, knowing that the low isn't something that's detrimental to you. Nadine, the story just gets better yeah. and better. What an awesome thing that he's going to end up right here in Pullman. We get to watch him for four more years after he's yeah. done with high school, and he can just always come home for a quick weekend, see the family. Pretty awesome story. Out yeah, he's going to have a lot of fans following yes, him as a, as a yes, Coug, that's for sure. All yeah. right, thanks a lot, Keith, for that.